Thanks again for being with us this afternoon. So about an hour or so ago, we got quite a few pictures and videos from some of our viewers out there asking about something that kind of freaked them out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this was something that was maybe a little suspicious in the cloud. So talk to us about what we're seeing with this video and maybe what that is too. Well, the photos and reports that we had were from the Granger area and also the Georgetown area of what at least at first impression here uh, would be to our eye and many of the viewers that sent in these pictures uh, to be that of a funnel cloud. You can see the rotation there. You can see uh, it's lifted off the ground so there's no sign that this is actually on the ground. Uh, but it came in an area without a strong or even severe thunderstorm and it came at the point that the National Weather Service even, because we double checked with them, there was no rotation detected here uh, in this thunderstorm. So uh, we have no definitive reason about what caused this, but we can make some educated guesses based on what was happening in the atmosphere at the time. And our thoughts are that this may have been a land spout funnel cloud. Now, what these are caused by is the convergence of wind boundaries coming together uh, in one place. And where that air meets, it can't go down because the ground is down. So then it is forced up and it starts to spin. Now, usually these are relatively weak in nature. Uh, but according to some research I did behind the scenes here, they can get to some pretty incredible strength given how they are formed and that doesn't include a supercell thunderstorm. So while they're usually weak in nature, then they can still do and cause damage. This one looked to have lasted for about a minute and a half, according to some reports we had from emergency managers uh, in the Georgetown area. Now for this to be a land spout tornado or funnel cloud, the parent cloud, meaning the clouds above, aren't actually rotating. It's more of a land generated uh, spin up rather than one that is formed from the clouds in the sky. Think about it in some sort of way, like when you're at the grocery store parking lot and the leaves start to spin and they go up. That's because uh, air masses are colliding and being forced up because the parking lot of the, uh, of the uh, grocery store is uh, in the way and not uh, allowing that wind to go down. These are very hard to predict, hard to detect. Often the rotation is so low down to the ground and so brief that it, these can come and go without uh, anyone noticing that they were even there, certainly from a national weather perspective or our perspective when we're checking the radar for them. Uh, but this may have been what happened earlier today in parts of Williamson County, Granger, uh, also spotted from Leander, Georgetown as well. So in case you saw it, this may have been what it was. 